Chapter 10, The Saki Horror Picture Show. Sketchbook Freak. Tales of the Not So Dark Night. I wish that was Batman. Not just for all the cool reasons. I vengeance. <laughs> nice to meet you, vengeance. Or the fact that he's rich. And not just rich. So rich. I wish I was Batman so that I could fit in anywhere. One minute he's Bruce Wayne at a board meeting, and the next he's Batman in the most dangerous part of town. Completely fearless. Although he never seems to have any friends. Hey Alfred, wanna play cards again? Sir, I am quitting. But luckily, that's not me anymore. I've got True and Liam. But unlike me, Batman is always in control of everything. No fear. And everywhere. Welcome to McDonald's. How would you like your burger? No pickles. And I really love how Batman always stands up for the little guys. Because usually that little guy is me. Mom, can I go to art school? No! Good afternoon, I'm Ashley Marin, reporting from WRAD, and welcome to the Rad Vacation Review. The biggest winner had to be Cindy Marcus, whose dad chartered the space shuttle to ring in the new year in orbit. Her vacation was literally out of this world. Robbie D was a close second. His family spent Christmas with His Holiness the Pope. Ah, Rome, sweet Rome. Meanwhile, Andy went to Hawaii with his trusty minion, Colin. Thank goodness we didn't go to Hawaii, said everyone. Vacation losers include Jordan, Drew, Maury, Alex, Ramon, and that creepy puppet girl. Uh, actually, we went to our villa in Tuscany. I stand corrected. Thank you, Maury. And now, let the tanning contest begin. Look, Jordan, I'm even darker than you. <sighs> Man, Drew, it was bad enough I had to go through this at St. Harwell's, but this feels even worse. At least there, all the kids were darker than me anyway. Come on, man. I'll buy you a free lunch. Thanks. Did you hear Ruby and Ashley's families went to Greece because we're going to study it this semester? Wow. My dad won't even get me Greek yogurt unless it's on sale. You know where I went? Where? Walmart. Not just a regular one, a super Walmart. How about you? South Uptown. <laughs> That's how we roll. Like my tan? Wow, you might even win a competition. Hey, where's Liam? I don't know. I asked him about his vacation, but he was vague. Maybe he couldn't afford to go anywhere either. Somehow, I doubt that. Come on, let's get our trays and grab lunch. Spaghetti. No, ma'am. I hate spaghetti. Man. That Alexandra sure is strange. I mean, who doesn't like spaghetti? I know, right? Spaghetti? Yes, please. Spaghetti. Thank you. Man, I'll be glad when this week is over. Yeah, then we won't have to hear all about the vacations that we didn't get to go on. At least not until spring break. Ah, oh, and as if this day isn't already bad enough, I have my new art class today. But you like art. It's going to be lame, though. That's why I didn't take it first semester. Hello, class. I'm Ms. Slate. Welcome to Visual Arts. I've taught here for 12 years and have had many gallery shows. Here are some of the pieces I've done. As you can see, I use shapes and layers of paint to define the aura of my art. Okay, we're shutting this brain down. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Activity will cease in three, two, one. Power off. Wait for it. Wait for it. Reboot initialized. So, Mr. Picasso, what did you think of that? I don't know, Colin. I kind of hate that stuff. I want to learn how to draw real stuff, not just a bunch of scribbles. I can see that, but you should still give it a chance. It might be fun. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I'm blind! Uh, yeah. I 
guess I could give it a chance. Thanks, Colin. No problem, dude. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. So, you seem pretty cool. Why do you hang out with Andy? <laughs> You're not the first person to ask me that. He really is a decent guy, but I know he can cross the line sometimes. Sometimes? If the line is here, then Andy is all the way by Ford Field. True, but there are times when he can be really funny, too. <sighs> Everyone, may I have your attention, please? Hey, why are you grabbing my arm? Has someone lost a child? <laughs> <laughs> is this one of those times, Colin? Not funny, Andy. Oh, what's up, Drew? Can I have my arm back now? <sighs> Fine. Come on, Drew. We don't want to be late for class. I noticed you didn't go out for a winter sport, Drew. Scared? Yeah, that's it, Andy. I'm petrified of wrestling and hockey. And don't get me started on squash. Well, since everyone has to do a spring sport, I dare you to try out for baseball. See you around. Jeez, what is it with you two? I have no idea. But if that's what he wants, that's what he'll get. Wait a minute. Squash is a sport? No wonder Maury looks so confused. Drew didn't even wait. As soon as he got to math class, he came out swinging. And by adding solar panels to all the trains, we can have a clean and sustainable railway system. Well done, Mr. Peterson. Does anyone have any questions? I do. Did you do the calculations to see how much energy one panel can produce, then multiply to see if your train could actually move fast enough to make the investment worth it? Excellent point, Mr. Ellis. Andy, why don't you redo your calculations and give your report again once they work out? What? That was so cold, but awesome. He deserved it. True. Gotta run. My dad is picking me up. Up for a little Call of Duty with Liam later? Sure, I can play for a bit around seven, but just for a game or two. Then I gotta study. Cool. Catch you later. Oh, a text from dad. Stuck in traffic. We'll be late. <sighs> dad, where are you? Well, at least a day can't get any work. <sighs> Hello, Jordan. Ooh. Would you like to share an umbrella with us while we wait for our rides? Um, yeah, I guess. Oh, goody. Uh, say hi to Oscar. Oscar? Like Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street. He was my fave. But I never liked the fact that he was a grouch. So I made mine happy. Well, got your nose. <laughs> See? Well, of course he was a grouch. Wouldn't you be if your friends sang and danced while you lived in a garbage can? Why didn't anyone help him? Oh, gee, I never thought of it that way. So, I guess you didn't like Oscar, huh? No, it's not that. I'm sorry, Alexandra. Then, you don't like me? It's okay, no one does. I know everyone thinks I'm weird. Uh, this is where you're supposed to tell me that no one really thinks I'm weird, even though they really do. Oh, sorry, Alex. My grandpa always says never comfort someone with a lie. Don't be sorry, Jordan. I respect your honesty. Oh, here. Sorry I was hogging the umbrella. Let's share. Thanks. So there I was, in the rain, talking to the weirdest kid in my grade. Maybe even the whole school. Hoping with all my might that maybe she's not as weird as everyone thinks she is. And maybe she'll stop carrying around those stupid puppets and stop talking in that annoying puppet voice so people would see how nice she is. But deep down, what I was hoping for most of all, and I mean really hoping with all my might, was that she wasn't about to kiss me. That's how it always happens in movies. You share a moment, then bam. Next thing you know, we're a couple. I love you, Jordy. I love you more, Lexi. So, I made sure that we never stop talking. Girls always kiss you during awkward pauses. Can I ask you a question, Alex? Sure. 
What's up with the puppets? Oh, well, it's kind of hard to talk about, but I guess I can tell you. You're never mean to me, Jordan. Um, one day I was playing with my little brother, Ian. My mom was making spaghetti. She used to make it every Wednesday. Anyway, the doorbell rang and mom went to get it. We ran past the stove and Ian's arm hit mom's pot. I saw it flip over, like, in slow motion. I pushed him out of the way so he wouldn't get burned. He didn't. But I did. Um, on my hand and a little bit on my ankle. I've been trying to hide it ever since with bandages and gloves. Now with puppets? Yeah. So I guess you want to see it now. No, not really. I haven't shown this to anyone in years. Well, why start now? You don't... Yeah... I think I do. Besides, I trust you, Jordan. So I guess it's okay if I show you. I was fully ready for a terrible zombie arm to be revealed. We're talking jagged nails, rotting flesh, the whole shebang. This. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. I really don't think anyone will tease you about it, Alex. Really? Hey, it's our parents. Promise not to tell. Why? You saved your little brother. You're a hero. Well, okay. You can tell one person. Deal. Bye, Jordan. Oops. I didn't mean to do the puppet voice. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. How was your day? Where do I start? Uh...